Hello everybody and welcome to Corpse Collector, which is an RPG maker horror game where you essentially drive around in a bloody van collecting corpses in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Don't know how this is going to go, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hello there, welcome to Corpse Collector. This game is a bit dark, so just in case, would you like a list of trigger warnings before you play? I mean, sure, I guess. I don't really have trigger warnings. I mean, I have pure psychotic hatred, but that's about it. Trigger warnings for blood, death, abuse, transphobia, suicidal idolation, and fish death. Hmm. If these triggers are relevant to you, then please take great care. I don't want anybody to get hurt playing this game, and there's nothing wrong with staying safe. Oh, and one last thing. Use the shift key to run. You might need it. Hmm. Java. I'll be back home in a bit, Ruby. Just gotta run some errands, okay? Let's get this done quick. Okay. Oh, there's already a corpse down there. Poor thing is covered in gunshot wounds. I'll have to chop it up a bit so it's easier to carry. When I really think about it, I think that first winter was the worst it ever got. The crops I relied on died with the autumn. Not to mention that the ca caravan was hardly warm enough at night. It went underneath piles upon piles of blankets. It'd still be shivering as the creatures outside cried out for food. I still don't know if that shivering was from the cold or if it was just outright fear. It's tiring. This survi surviving was so unhappy, and I wonder, what was the point of it? I survive when the only thing that comes after is just more of the same. The fear of death was just a burden that blocked off the only way out of this messed up world. And despite knowing that, I'm still scared. I still keep on going. In another time, the sight of the snow might be soothing and nostalgic. But the leftovers from the last winter would only serve to hammer everything in. The apartment complexes were all devoid of color except for the cheesy decor in the windows. It felt wrong, as if, as if it was gallows humor that didn't land. Christmas lights that won't ever be turned on again, candles that'll never be lit. Even the trees inside the windows presented never, presents never that never to be opened. Even if I don't celebrate it myself, it's sad nonetheless. I'm guessing the outbreak happened around Christmas time. Jeez. There's a zombie on the left. And as I looked up at the brick house and its abandoned winter cheer, I thought to myself, I hope I won't be next. Huh? Did a light just turn on? Ruby? Um, hello. You're not dead. Well, I sure hope I'm not. What on earth are you doing standing outside in the cold, you silly thing? You'll get sick. Come on, follow me. We can't have you getting all hyperthermic. Um, where are you going? Oh, you think I live here? The lights are just a distraction, silly. Come on, it's not safe here. Less talking, more running. That's actually smart. Well, really depends on what kind of zombies you're dealing with. Like, if you're dealing with the, uh... What was the anime called? High School of the Dead kind of zombies. Well, those the zombies in that show are blind, but they're mainly attracted through sound. Maybe it would work on the uh, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead zombies, though. Because I do know like you could distract them with fireworks. Hmm, let me just check. All clear. Ha. Huh. That's a relief. I was kind of worried it wouldn't work. Righty, let's hurry on in. Uh, hell no. Absolutely not. You're 
You're having a nice cup of tea, and that's final. Goodness, your lips are all blue. I'll get started on that kappa. Go sit down and make yourself at home, okay? I insist. Hmm. Um, did you just put your portable stove on top of your broken stove? This makes it feel a bit more normal. <laughs> he should be ready any moment now. I'll go dish this up then. Is powdered milk alright? Oh, uh, sure. Here it is. Uh, it ain't poisoned or anything, yeah? You're a rather paranoid young lady, aren't you? I mean, you know, better safe than sorry, ain't it? She took my mug and took a sip from it. Safe now? Um, yeah, cheers and, uh, sorry. I can hardly blame you. I understand, really. Usually I'd be more cautious myself. Only I wish I didn't have to be... Why'd all this happen? From the moment we was all born, we might as well as well have already been dead. That's sort of a sad way of looking at it, no? Is that wrong, though? Nothing any of us could have done to stop it all happening. We even have the privilege of being pawns on the game board. You're not wrong, but that's not to say we should dwell on all that. I think there are happier things to think about. Happier things for us to talk about, too. Never really sat down for a proper chat in ages, so tell me. How you made it this long? I mean, it's quite impressive for how long you managed to survive out in the open and the snow of all conditions. Oh, I usually don't walk. I just... It's just that I was looking for petrol. Petrol? Oh, you have a working car. Caravan. A caravan? Hey, what's it like out there? Anything cool? A nice settlement or anything? I've not seen any settlements. Heck, you're the first person I've seen in ages, but... I think it's be I think the best thing I ever saw was probably the beach. Blown on the beach in the middle of the night. It was the most peaceful and tranquil moment. Didn't last long at all, of course. Being out in the open like was dangerous. Nearly had a horde after me. Was fighting for my life out there. But... Seeing the moonlight reflecting on the ocean. Down to the seagulls, the waves, and the crunching of the sand beneath my feet. I wasn't just surviving. I was living. Even when I was running, I couldn't help but laugh. It's been a while since I've had the moment like that. What are you even looking for out there in the world? To tell the truth, I don't really know. I think I'm just doing it for the sake of it. Because it's something to do. It's almost like I need it. Need to. Dangerous, you know. You could always stay here. Don't know. Please? Yeah, Ruby's probably been lonely. I haven't talked to anybody in months. Not a soul and well. I'm lonely, okay? I'm scared. I don't even know your name. You might be some weirdo for all I know, but... I really don't want to be left alone here. I... I think I need to keep on moving, no matter what. Then let me move with you. I don't know if you'd be safe. I don't care. I've had enough of staying here. There's something I need to find, too. And I have a better chance of finding it out there. Is what you're looking for worth the risk? It is. Then what is it? Home. Home? I don't mean the place, I mean the feeling. By the way, I'm not actually skipping those real quick. It just does it on its own. A nice, warm, fluffy sort of feeling. Nothing big, just something small. That feeling of relief that washes over you as you step into somewhere familiar. The feeling of knowing you're, knowing you're where you're meant to be. I haven't felt it, not here, not in ages. I haven't felt that feeling since it all started, so... Please let me go with you. Let's find a home in this nightmare, please. You're sure? Absolutely. 
I don't know. I barely know you. But it has been awful lonely out there for me, too. You might be some weirdo for all I know, but... In that case, well, nice to meet you. I'm Java. I'm a Ruby. Welcome aboard, Rubies. Ew, that took a while. I should probably try to get a few more. Can I enter the building? Guess not. Go out through the window. Oh, there's a zombie right there. Sneak on past him. Yeah, you keep tripping out up there, dude. That isn't our body. Her head is all bruised. I think she must have fell. You know, being up here kind of is kind of relaxing. I think I get why you spend so much time guarding up here now. <laughs> There's an effing garden on top of that thing. How does that even work? Speaking of which, I think the potatoes are ready to harvest. Let's have a look. Oh wow, I didn't think they'd be this big. They'll be good eating, that's for sure. Let's try to make sure that we ration them, okay? I only planted enough for one. Eh, the rations we had from winter ended up spoiling because you wouldn't let us eat them. You're a guest here, my rules. Still, that doesn't mean we should be wasteful. Wait a second. Planted for one? Um, well... <coughs> planted for one? Were you planning on getting rid of me down the line? Kicking me out on the street? Wow, that's harsh. And here I thought I, that we were best... Bessie mates. I'm guessing that's supposed to be Bessie. Bessie? What the fuck is Bessie? Java. I'm not sure uh, if you've noticed, but I do not happen to be yelling at you. I'm sorry. Shush. Oh, we're not even married and you already want, want a divorce. Seriously, shush. Why? Well, just look, you Muppet. I am not a Muppet. I said look. Right, get inside now. Huh? But they're people. One of them has a gun, Rubes. We're not taking any risks. But... Get inside, I ain't letting you get hurt on my watch. Okay, I take back what I said about Rubes. He's kinda dumb. But Java, though... That was smart thinking. Cause, like, in the event of the apocalypse, you can't really trust anybody. People are more likely to backstab you in the back during the apocalypse than any other situation. That's a relief. They won't be able to get to us on foot. If they were even hostile, that is. Bye. I'm not a Muppet, am I? You're still upset about that? It literally happened like two minutes ago. Sorry, I called you a Muppet. Not just that. I thought we were starting to become friends. Like, I really trust you, but... Have I just been a massive burden to you this whole time? What? Absolutely not. And why did you only plant for one? Not that I wanted to get rid of you. Then why? I just, I just didn't think you'd want to stay for long. Thought maybe we'd drive by somewhere nice and you'd go right... Uh, for the lift and go off. Sorry. I shouldn't be. So I should be sorry. You've done nothing bad. We still besties, mate? 
Yeah. They have a shit ton of monster energy drinks in this car, though. <laughs> so, um, where are we driving to? It's more like a camper. Nowhere, apparently. Ah, should we go looking for petrol again? It probably wouldn't be safe to out in this rain. Not to mention it's dark out. At least the rain is pretty. Yeah. Kind of nostalgic looking at all the shops from here. I used to have a corner shop just like that one over there. Just across the street from when I was little. I used to love Halloween as a kid. Because it was the only time of year I got to have sweets. And on Halloween at the corner shop, they let all the kids pick out a sweet for free. The lady who worked there was really, really nice. Really friendly person. I remember one one time I was a penny short getting mom and dad some milk and she just let me have the bottle for free. I wonder what she's doing now. Probably eating her husband. <laughs> I highly doubt that she survived. Maybe she got a caravan. <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. What places did you used to love going to? Kind of hard for me to associate shops with joy, you know. But wait, I think I have an exception. Look over there at that little shop there. Oh, I don't think I've been there in there before. It's a charity shop. They sell cute stuff for extra cheap. Really helped me when I needed a new wardrobe after moving out. The people at the charity shop back in Nova Shire actually started recognizing me after a while. Nova Shire. Are we in, like... Are we in England? Like, Britain or something? It was a lovely little place. Looks kind of homely. Especially when compared to the McDonald's next door. Remember McDonald's? Or what Ronald McDonald is doing now? He was patient zero. <laughs> That's how the apocalypse started. It was the Big Mac sauce. <laughs> they started pumping like T virus into that shit or something. <laughs> or the Rage virus from 28 days or later. But seriously, I used to love the place as a kid. It was like a rare special treat mom would get us. See that cute little kitty toy over there? Got her in one of my meals when they were doing that. The cat promotion. Dad was fuming about it because he thought it was too girly. But like, for the first time ever, Mom fought back. They got to keep her. Called her Sayo. Aw, that's so sweet. Apart from that, I hate McDonald's. Working there was horrid. Amen, brother. Amen. Tips there were nice, though. Hmm. What are you humming about? Well, I was just thinking. We had to just harvest a ton of po potatoes, didn't we? Ah, she's gonna make a uh, prize. Ruby, you're a fucking genius. The McDonald's is basically just outside, so it's probably safe. Get the portable stove, let's go. Heh, <laughs> she called me a genius. Uh, I guess that brought up her mood a bit. But for being called a Muppet to genius. Welcome McDonald's. How can I help you? Hey, hey. Should I be the one doing the cooking? I've got experience. With fast food, yes, but this is slow food made with love. You say that like I didn't put my love into making fast food. Did you? Not really. <laughs> See, it's more fun if you let me do it. Otherwise, I'd feel kind of like making you work off the clock. Plus, I just really wanted to wear the hat. Well, if you insist, but is there anything I can do to help? You can go get the olive oil in the boxes. The boxes they use for the fries are very important. It'll feel more like the real thing that way. 
Uh, you should see if they have a freezer closet. Like, check the freezer. These must be the boxes Ruby's wanted. All we need is the oil. Like, literally, if they have an indoor, if they have a freezer, you can open it up. There's gonna be, like, massive amounts of food piled in. Nobody thinks about that whenever they're, like, talking about a zombie. I just face right through the counter. But when they're talking about the zombie apocalypse, usually fast food joints, they always have, like, just huge mountains of food tucked away behind in the freezer. Just go in there, grab a couple things of, things of fries. And then, like, bring a deep fryer with you. You'll be set. Must be the oil. But instead, everybody wants to, like, loot Walmart or Giant Eagle or something. Yep, okay, good. It's actually oil this time. I should go bring this all to Ruby's. Ah, perfect. You're just in time. I'm just going to put the oil in this pot here, wait for it to bubble up, and then I'll put the fries in, and now we just have to wait. Looking forward to it. I'll go set the table. What the? Ken. Look, look, it's open. It's finally open. Look, David, look. David. Ken, what I tell you about running off? But look. Um, bro, I would be tripping if I walked to McDonald's in a zombie apocalypse and there's still staff working there. Actually, that's the kind of shit I expect from a Waffle House. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's the freaking zombie apocalypse, if there's Tyranids invading, or the Russians started invading Florida. That fucking Waffle House will still be staffed. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? See, they're open. They're open. Can I have some chippies, please, miss? Of course you can. And a Happy Meal. We don't have any toys right now, but sure. Would you be wanting fries as well, sir? Oh no, I really shouldn't be troubling you both like this. Don't be ridiculous. We can spare a few. Um, well, if you both insist. But let me return the favor. I can cook a mean burger... After all, like a big family meal. David, can we keep them? <laughs> Don't be silly. Is it all right if I let myself back there? I'm sure. Can I help? Can can I? Can I? You can flip the burger patties for me. Woohoo, I'm helping. Well, at least you bumped into some survivors. Hey, thank you both so much for letting us both in. Not a problem. You should be thanking Ruby, really. It was her idea. How old are you, by the way? 18. Shit, that's a young, poor kid. She thinks I'm a kid. I'm guessing the kid is yours, little brother? No, I just sort of, I just sort of found him. Felt wrong leaving him on his own. We're in the same boat, but we're different. He can't defend himself. He's just a kid. Being around him, I can't really decide if I should be happy or sad. How'd you mean? Every time we walk by a shop or a restaurant, he always wants me to check if it's open. He has so much optimism. Like, it's like it hasn't quite clicked that the world is the is a state yet. And sure, ignorance is bliss, but that's not going to last forever. I'm scared for him. What kind of future does a kid have when he's raised in a world like this? When he realizes what his future is destined to be, will his happiness just go out and go out the window? I wish he'd get to be raised in a world that's a little happier. Or he got to be raised. Maybe he'll be all right. Yeah, I hope so. Even if it's just pretend. I think today gave him a happy memory he can cherish forever. Look, David, look, look. You have a cat now. Oh, wow. What's his name? 
His name is Miawi. Aw. And what do you say to the nice lady? Thank you, Miss Lady. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome, kiddo. Howie, is there like anything we could do for the both of you in return? You're both kids. You don't owe us anything. Hey, I insist. We're all survivors. We should help each other. If you insist, then. Do you happen to have any spare petrol at all? Petrol? Oh, we got loads. I haven't learned how to drive yet, and every time I try, it goes badly. That's all kind of useless to me now. Is that why we saw so many crashed cars on the way here? <laughs> you all wait here. I'll get it. Absolutely not. It's raining outside. Not safe. We'll walk together and keep an eye on each other. I can take Meowie on his first ever walk too. Well, let's go then. I can show you guys my place as well. Oh, once we got the petrol, we said our goodbyes. Gary, I don't know if they're both still okay or not, but I hope so. Can't help but wish that I had been a little more like David in the past. I was thinking they would have probably died. Like they got to the house and they got swarmed by a horde. Hmm, what for? I was a guest in your home, and I still ended up giving away your stuff anyway. I'm sorry, I know I was wrong. Just felt sorry for the kid. No, you didn't do anything wrong. We ended up giving away a lot of our rations, though. Is it really okay? Maybe it weren't wise, but it did make me feel pretty happy. So even for struggle a bit, it was worth it. So it's okay. Ah, that's a relief. I was worried you'd get mad. Maybe I would have done it. Wouldn't have done it if we hadn't known each other as long. But either way, it wouldn't be right for me to do that. And uh, I'm really sorry, Rubes. Hmm. What was it about earlier? We already talked about that. It's about me calling you a guest. Rubes, you're not just a guest. We survive together, protect each other, each other. A team. You're my equal. You ain't just a guest or some person I keep around. You're like my roomie. Or rather, you're a friend. In fact, I shouldn't be apologizing at all. I should be thanking you. From now on, we won't do things my way. Rather, we'll do it our way. So, I can stay in your caravan as long as I want? You can stay as long as you want. It's your caravan to you. Thank you. Then I think I'll stay for a very, very long time. There we go. That should last a couple of days. Go always look for more, though. Just to make sure. Okay, I'm theorizing. Yeah. I think Ruby's is actually dead. That freaking zombie's coming this way. Ruby's is actually dead, and what we're doing is we're gathering the corpses because Ruby's is now a zombie, and we're feeding her the corpses. You can go away, dude. Oh, some water. That I can apparently walk off the dock and use the guy who drowned in the water as a platform. It'd be kind of tough, but it's important. I hate summer. Wait, where's Java? Over here. What are you doing? I didn't see any zombies when I looked out the window, so I thought it'd be a nice idea to have a picnic. Oh, it's been a long time since I had one of those. What'd you make? I uh, haven't quite figured out how to make bread yet, so it's just canned soup, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. You put yeast in water, you powder it until it's a dough, then you bake the dough. What do you want to do after we finish eating? It's not really that hard to cook bread. <laughs> hmm. I think I just want to sit here for a bit. Me too. 
You know, I've been thinking. Is it just me, or have there been less zombies than usual? It's a good thing. I try not to think about it. I'm worried about having my false hope being crushed. But when it all started, they were so strong. They would run so fast, tear you from limb to limb. Now it feels like a miracle to even see the slight jog from them. Do you think they might be starving? That... Maybe... It might be over soon. I can only hope. Yeah. Waves sound really relaxing, don't they? Yeah, they really do. How long should we stay here? As long as we want. That's actually a good sign, because if the zombies are starving out... Eventually, when all the zombies starve out, humanity can actually rebuild society. That's about enough to last a week now. Wait a sec, is that a house key? That could be an opportunity to find more supplies. Oh, to the house of... This dude. Come on. This way. Yeah. Yeah, I will go this way. They do seem to pick up speed, though. This the house? Or no? Oh, there's a way up here. Yeah, that might be it. It is. You walk into an abandoned house in the middle of a zombie apocalypse without a weapon. Yep, saw that coming. He looks calm. He must have died in his sleep. For a dead body, he's pristine. The only muck seems to be the blood around his neck. Good morning. Ah, oh, sorry, I think I fell asleep. Good morning. Eh? It's not like you to be so careless. What were you doing? Well, it's already autumn, so I'm trying to start planning for winter. Might need to raid a couple of shops to try and find more canned food. What the hell is that on the side of the road? Is that a snake or is that a, a worm? We need to break into a pharmacy to get more medicine and E2. But I'd like to find some kind of food source that's more reliable. Searching supermarkets is a lottery. I don't want to risk the both of us starving. Hmm. Maybe we could eat insects. They're definitely edible. Otherwise, they wouldn't, wouldn't force famous people to eat them on TV. Maybe, but uh, it might be a bit gross. Okay, would you put that aside for your own survival? Because you can't actually get protein off of insects. True, but when it cut like a good example would be grubs. Grubs are a good source of protein. True, but when it comes to survival, we need to do whatever we can. Look at this little worm. Oh, that is a big effing worm. For instance. Freaking Mongolian death worm. It's not so bad if you're pretending it's a piece of spaghetti. <laughs> You just slurped an effing worm. That tasted awful. Yeah. We aren't quite that desperate yet. I'm um, right, but still. It could be useful. Maybe we could use the bugs as bait to catch fish. We should be able to even... Able to even during the winter. That's very true, but um... I don't know if I'd be very good at fishing. Oh, come on. Even if it doesn't work, at least we can say we tried, right? Let's go find some fishing rods and get some fish. Um, do we just wait? Um, yeah, I think so. And people, like, do this as a hobby? Yeah, my dad was really into it. Aw, did you both used to go fishing together? Hey. Don't shit talk. Don't shit talk fishing. Fishing is actually a very relaxing hobby. 
You gotta force me into doing it, honestly. Even though I didn't really want to. I actually did start to have fun with it all. I like looking at the patterns of the fishies in the book he'd shown me. I love learning about how fishes act and behave. I loved it until I got my first catch. What was wrong with the catch? It was just... He caught a freaking minnow, didn't he? I thought Dad was going to let it go after we caught it. But he gutted it right in front of me on the ground. I, I see. I understand that obviously it's what you do when you catch a fish, right? You eat them. You don't have to. You could catch and release. It was just that the blood and the gore really shocked me. When I got all pale and nauseous, he got mad. Really, really mad. And that's when I realized it. It was never meant to be a fun day out for us both to bond. He had his ulterior motive. He wanted to change me to man me up. He sounds horrible. Is your mom the same? Not at all. She was an amazing mother. He should have stuck up for me. She was a victim of him too. If I hadn't had left for Uni, maybe I could have been there for them. Maybe she and my little bro would still be here. Guess we all have a lot of regrets, huh? Yeah. Did you have any regrets at all? I guess. Oh, well, my parents were kind of strict. Like, really, really, really strict. Like, I had to be picture perfect 24-7. If I didn't, they'd get so, so mad. Eventually, it started to feel like my life wasn't mine to live. It was my parents. My regret is that... Is that I feel happy about what happened to them. I can't even say I had mixed feelings. I just... I just felt happy, and... Let me guess, your parents were like the beauty pageant effing parents that put their kids through that rigorous effing B bullshit. I feel evil for feeling that way. Like the fucking toddlers and tiaras type of parents. To be honest, when it comes to my dad, I think I might feel the same way. Maybe we can just be evil together. <laughs> sure, I'd like that. Hey, Ruby. Hmm. I'm glad I met you. Me too. But well, I think we got a bite. Ah, quick. Reel it in. This is probably the best meal we had in ages. Nearly done. I just need to figure a way out. The freaking window? I'm trying to escape through the window. There's some roof tiling that I can stand on. Bathroom. I could think I could see something inside. No cover in blood. Read it. Yes. Sorry, I just wanted to protect my children. Oh. Her body is covered in blood. She still looks like she's in pain. You see her tongue on the floor. She must have bit it off as she struggled through the suffocation. Wow, the snow outside is really pretty. <laughs> I bet Ken's probably making lots of snowmen with David right right now. Maybe we should visit them sometime. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Can show off the new recipes I've been learning too. Fuck. I'll go get the spare petrol. We still have loads in the tank. It's just stopped. Think it's broken? Can't be. Hold on. Let me try and reverse. Nah, you're stuck. No one's plowing the road, so that snow is just going to build up on the road real quick. Yeah, we're definitely stuck. Fuck. Hey, I'm sure it'll be okay, right? We don't have any bodies of water for miles now. And we can't walk to the next town without freezing. Don't really want to leave the caravan here either. The snow should melt eventually, right? Yeah, it should do. We're gonna be okay, Java. 
for now, let's see what we can do, okay? Well, technically, you won't really freeze, well, die of dehydration because you can actually just take the snow inside and melt the snow. And there's your water. They're just straight up building a snowman. Why did the snowman sigh there? I think I need to catch my breath. I'm not sure we'll be able to get it unstuck anyway. It could be more useful. I don't want to just sit around and wait. I think waiting might be the only thing we can actually do right now. Oof. It's hard to miss when the snow used to feel magical. Come on, inside. I think we need to get you warmed up. Well, yeah, she's outside wearing an effing dress in the middle of winter. While you warm up, I'll go outside and get started on dinner. Let's see if I can use the portable cooker to do something about the snow. Oh, I could help. You sit and relax. You already did plenty of work today. Well, okay, if you insist. We still have some potatoes, so I hope fries are okay. Of course. Wait a second, the portion's kind of small, and what is Java having to eat? Hey Java, we're okay on supplies, right? Oh yeah, we have plenty of food left over to spare. Why aren't you having any? Uh, well, to be honest, I kind of burned some of your fries, so I just ate the burned ones. Oh no, are you okay? Mm, don't worry. I sort of like them burned anyway. Yeah, the crisps. <laughs> well, if you insist. I think fries taste better when they're crunchy, you know? Heat up then, get some sleep. We'll see if there's anything else we can do in the morning. I can't sleep. Wait, what's that noise? Java. What's she doing outside? Put my ear up to the window so I can listen in. What the hell am I going to do? Remember before it all rotted. We were still short. Am I going to tell Ruby? Should I? If the snow won't let up soon, then... The next day. Snow isn't letting up. If anything, it's got a, it's gotten worse. Mr. Snowman has even melted a little bit. Come on, melt already. I'm starting to worry. I really miss weather broadcasts right about now. Well, at least the snow scared the zombies away. Guess even they don't like the cold. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Rubes, I left some soup for you in the caravan. Rubes? Uh, sorry, thank you very much. Aren't you going to eat? Oh, I actually ate earlier. I got kind of hungry, so I couldn't really wait. Ah, oh, but it's more fun when we eat together. Next time you want dinner early... Earlier, tell me, so we can have it earlier together. Sure, sure. Now get inside and eat before it gets cold, okay? The next day. Yep, still not working. Yawn. Well, I better start getting ready to cook. What do you want? Um, I don't feel very hungry. She just breathed a sigh of relief. Uh, righty then. We can eat tomorrow instead. We, oui, hey, it's okay. He could go on and eat. But, um, remember what you said. It's better if we eat together. Hey, Java. When was the last time you actually ate? Last night. You're lying. Excuse me? I heard you a few nights ago. Talking to yourself like that. Why didn't you tell me? I don't want to worry you. Or make you panic. How bad is it, Java? Not that bad. Just tell me. Most of the food has rotted. I'm trying to stretch it out as much as I can, but it'll only last for a few days at the most. You're telling me you're driving around in this effing RV and haven't thought of, like, putting a freezer in to preserve your food rations. Don't even know when the weather is going to end. Do you have room for loads of effing monsters? I'll go without without tonight. That way you can eat a bit. 
You haven't eaten in a few days, right? What? No, we're not doing that. You were already doing that earlier. But you need to eat too. If it's just for a day, it'll be fine. Exactly. So I can go on without for another day. Are you kidding me? Couldn't we at least just split it in half? Look, it'll be fine for just another day. Do we need to go out looking for supplies? Uh, that would be the smart decision. Follow the road, eventually you'll come across the house. Maybe with supplies. We could have done that earlier, if you hadn't lied, you know? That wouldn't be safe. In this fog, you wouldn't even be able to tell where you were going. If you're giving up, I can just go out on my own. It's not safe, Ruby. Starving to death isn't safe either, funnily enough. We could get bitten, Ruby. That's the fate wor that's a fate worse than death. We don't even know if there's any out there. That's why I don't want us to take the risk. We ended up arguing all night long. Because of that, we ended up going to sleep without eating. We probably won't be able to make a compromise tomorrow either. Why did she have to do something so stupid? She looks so pale. I'm scared for her. Because of me that she's having to make these sacrifices. Maybe I really am a burden. Hey Java, you asleep? Can't see very well because of the fog, but I'll just move straight forward. If I can find nothing for hours, I can just turn straight around. If I can get some food for us, then Java is going to be okay. I need to try. Are these keys for the kids' room? Maybe we can find a way out through there. A knife covered in blood. Take the knife, idiot. I shut the door behind me. The zombie won't stop banging on the door. A kitty plushie. It's a lot like the one you used to have. Dead body covering lots of tiny bite marks. She was probably already dead before she got bit, so she didn't fully get fully infected. You'll have to cut around the infected flesh, but it's edible. Otherwise, this should be fine. Good morning, Rubes. Ruby? Rubes, you in there? Hey, I'm sorry about last night. I just felt guilty about eating since I should have been more careful making sure everything was stored right. It's my fault, not yours, so it only felt fair to let you eat instead. Ruby? Not in. Are you outside? She's gone. Ruby? 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 Fuck. Ruby, Ruby, where is she? I have a feeling she went this way. Ruby, are you in there? Ruby? J Java, watch out. Java, Java, are you okay? Are you? It bit me, look. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm... I'm sorry, fuck. You have to leave me here. No, I can't do that. Java, you know why you have to. If I ever hurt you, I'd be... I'd never be able to forgive myself. How long ago did you get bit? Um, I don't know, a few hours after bed last night? We have time. You're coming home, please. Amputate the bite wound. Home? I love that. Let's go. Well, unless they don't have the medical supplies like a suture kit or something. I think I can still walk. Just promise you'll be careful. Hey, Java. I'm really happy I got to meet... We got to meet each other. Kind of scared, but... I trust you. Java. I just... I don't want you to go. Can I give you a hug? I think I need one, too. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry.
Damn it. I fucked up. I shouldn't have fucked up like that. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Why couldn't I have died instead? Come on, Java. Get yourself together. Can't keep her waiting. There are two beds. Oh. Ruby, I'm so sorry. The freaking zombie kid got me. If I go through the middle window. Okay, well, let me through the middle. Well, if I go down that way, I die. Won't even let me out through the window again. Okay, I'm good. Okay, never mind, not that way. They're everywhere. So that was what was down the other road. Just a horde of zombies. I better go check on her. Hey, Ruby. Yep. Called it. Hey, Ruby, I got you something to eat. It was kind of tricky getting it, but I hope it's enough. And I'm sorry. Death won't be enough to make us part. Once I turn, please kill me. I don't want to hurt you. So sorry, I tried, Ruby. I swear that I tried. How the bloody hell did you expect me to do something like that? You're my bestest ever friend. How could you ask me to hurt you? After I promised myself that I wouldn't, I would protect you. That I wouldn't let you get hurt. That I wouldn't make the same mistake again. I don't care how ugly things have to get. How much blood that I might need to be shed. I can't ever, ever kill you, no matter what. I'm sorry. End. That's kind of a dark ending. <laughs> Could it muster up the courage to kill... Courage to kill her, so... Walk her up in that back room... And bring her flesh... Of, like, dead body. Eventually, it's going to come to a point where you're not going to be able to find any food. What are you going to do then? Hmm. But anyway, that was Corpse Collector. It's actually a fairly interesting RPG Maker Horror game. I do like the ending, though. Kind of interesting, but if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. As always, until next time, have a good day.